Let's balance the reaction for H3PO4 plus NaOH. We'll also look at the type of reaction. This is an acid, it's a weak acid, and this is a base, it's actually a strong base. Acid and a base, and we get this salt and water. This is a neutralization reaction. Sometimes it's called a double displacement reaction as well because the sodium here and the hydrogen, they're switching places. Let's balance the equation. First, we'll count the atoms up. We have three hydrogens plus, don't forget this one over here. So we have four hydrogens, one phosphorus, three oxygens, and again, don't forget this one. So we have a total of four oxygen atoms and the one sodium. Product side, we have two hydrogens, one phosphorus, three oxygens, plus this one here in the water, four of those, and then three sodium atoms. Why don't we start by balancing the sodium atoms. If we put a three here, one times three, that'll give us three of those. And the reason I started with sodium is this three will also affect the oxygen and the hydrogen. It applies to the whole compound here. So let's update the hydrogens and the oxygens. So now we have three plus three times the one, six hydrogens, and then for oxygen we have the three here, plus this one times three here, six oxygen atoms. So it looks like at this point, if we put a three in front of the water, two times three, that'll give us six. And then let's update the oxygens. We have our three here, plus we have the one times the three. That gives us a total of six. And we are done. This equation is balanced. Two tricks here. One, leave the oxygens until last. That's a good strategy. And be careful when you're counting these atoms up. We have hydrogens here and here oxygens here and here, and so on. This is Dr. B with the balanced equation for H3PO4 plus NaOH. We also looked at the type of reaction, which is neutralization, or it could also be called double displacement. If you were to write the states, you would probably say aqueous here. It's a weak acid, but it does dissolve in water. Strong base, that would be aqueous. Then our sodium compounds, very soluble. Water would be a liquid. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.